I just wonder about the soul of the master. How this soul, um, master soul, works? Okay, okay. But I also told you that I I make a string and the whole, the whole universe. Okay. Number one. Okay. Suppose even if if I didn't make the string, okay, the master soul can appear in any form, in any place, in many different places at the same time. This is called omnipresence and omnipotence as well. Omnipotence means the master can make himself or herself known as another person that you're more familiar with. But therefore, the Buddhists see Jesus and the Christians saw the Buddha in the meditation. <laughs> uh, who cares? Okay? Uh, the master soul is not confined into this body alone. Okay? And the master power is not just within a soul. Just saying a soul so that you understand. But the master of a higher level is uh, merging in every place in the whole universe. So uh, that master, so-called soul, is not limited. It's the great soul, understand? It's expanded souls and is shapeless, formless, and limitless. So it can appear anywhere, even can appear in your form too, in somebody else's dream. Suppose you have a friend who is in danger or in need of help, and she already know you or your lover far away, yeah? And then um, he could not reach you, yes? And because I know you, and I know he know you, so probably, suppose I am the master, I would appear to him in his dream or in a, a fleeting vision in your form to tell him that, okay, honey, do this, do that. I'm waiting for you over there, over here. For example, something like that, miracle happen. Okay? It's very easy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but does my answer make sense to you? Yes, I understand. Yeah, very good. We are not confined in any plane or any planet. And even if we are, we, when the master above fifth level can string the whole universe so that uh, that master power can flow easily and can uh, bring equipment down, <laughs> blessing down easier. Okay? Hmm. Any more questions? I'm glad you asked. It's good though. <laughs>